Welcome back to another short of Slang Diary. Let's see how much you can understand. Rain napper. Does it mean an umbrella or a raincoat? An umbrella. So if it's starting to drizzle and you want to keep dry, you might say, pass me the rain napper. Trainers. Does it mean sports shoes or athletic coaches? Sports shoes. So if you're getting ready for a run and need your footwear, you could say, where are my trainers? Mush. Does it mean face or food? Face. So if you want to comment on someone's appearance, you could say, that's a happy mush you've got today. Haggle. Does it mean to negotiate a price or to complain about something? To negotiate a price. So if you're at a market and you want to get a better deal, you might say, I'm going to haggle over this. No, you're onions. Does it mean being knowledgeable or being a good cook? Being knowledgeable. So if someone is really well versed about a subject, you might say, you really know your onions. Gym jams. Does it mean pajamas or lullabies? Pajamas. So if you're about to head to bed and need to change, you might say, time to put on my gym jams. Deep pockets. Does it mean a wealthy person or someone carrying a lot of things? A wealthy person. So if you're describing someone who is financially affluent, you could say, he's got deep pockets. Chuffed. Does it mean pleased or upset? Pleased. So if you're really happy about an achievement, you might say, I'm really chuffed with how that turned out. OK, boomer. Does it mean a respectful term for an older person, or a sarcastic remark towards an older generation? Sarcastic remark towards an older generation. So if you're responding to someone from young generation who you feel is out of touch, you might say, OK, boomer. Legless. Does it mean extremely drunk or unable to walk? Extremely drunk. So if someone has had too much to drink, you might say, he's completely legless. Highborn. Does it mean wealthy or of noble birth? Noble birth. So if you're discussing someone from a noble or aristocratic family, you could say, she's highborn. Goat. Does it mean an actual goat or greatest of all time? Greatest of all time. So if you're referring to someone who is the best in their field, you might say, he's the goat. Benjamins. Does it mean hundred dollar bills or a group of friends? Hundred dollar bills. So if you're talking about a lot of money, you might say, he's rolling in the Benjamins. Buck. Does it mean a type of deer or a dollar? A dollar. So if you're discussing the cost of something, you might say, that'll be five bucks. Cat's meow. Does it mean something impressive or a sound made by a pet? Something impressive. So if you're praising a remarkable thing or person, you could say, that's the cat's meow. Hooch. Does it mean a type of dog or an alcoholic beverage? An alcoholic beverage. So if you're in the mood for a drink, you might say, I could go for some hooch. Big girl's blouse. Does it mean a coward person or a large sized dress? A coward person. So if you're describing someone who is not very brave, you might say, stop being a big girl's blouse. Dishy. Does it mean attractive or good at cooking? Attractive. So if you find someone particularly good looking, you might say, wow, you're quite dishy. Greasy spoon. Does it mean a cheap eatery or an oily utensil? A cheap eatery. So if you're looking for an affordable place to eat, you could say, let's head to that greasy spoon. Minted. Does it mean wealthy or flavored with mint? Wealthy. So if you're talking about someone who is very rich, you might say, she's absolutely minted. How many did you get correct? Let me know in the comments.